Hey guys, quick video today on the um, non-circulating hydroponics I'm doing in the greenhouse. I was going to show you, I'm finally getting siding up. This has been slow, started it this spring, but don't have to have it done right now. So anyway, but I wanted to show you guys today um, was on my Dr. Kratky stuff. I finally got to drop the float valve tank on the tomatoes because they had drained the um, the growing tanks down far enough now that I could hook the system up that I've been uh, wanting to use. So basically what I have done here, and this is the after. I'll show you the before in a second to give you what it looks like. I used this little, um, basically, I used this little polystyrene foam and I know when that got down to a certain point, which is roughly that line, that I had drained these tanks far enough that I could drop my float valve and actually hook up my nutrient solution, which is in the garbage can, and that will feed the float valve, which then in turn feeds the tank and keeps the water level about right there all summer long, instead of uh, you know me having to pop the top and trying to fill this thing. Um, and I knew this was ready based on, I had set my stone up pre-season and just filled everything with water and got a good idea of where I wanted the actual tank to stop draining when I could drop the float valve. So that's what that mark on that was for. Um, this is what it looked like before. So basically the, vote, the float valve tank, you know, you have to keep it raised up while your plants are getting uh, the growth tanks drain down to a certain level. Same thing on the cucumber, it's not ready. A little different system there, but same float valve tank. This is what the float valve looks like. So basically, that's the tank. When the water's drained from the garbage can into that tank, that valve raises up and stops the flow when it gets to a certain level, which was predetermined by where I had these stones set. So that's, the, that's what it looks like now. If I drop this tank right now, here's what's gonna happen. Because these tanks are still this full, they're not ready to drain yet. I mean, ready to drop yet. If I drop this, you'll see that I start getting water from both tanks backfilling my float valve. So basically what would happen right now is it would flood my float valve tank because these tanks are still too full. They hadn't drained down far enough. <clears throat> Same thing on that tank. So, Today, because the tomatoes had got their level drained down, I was able to go ahead and drop the float valve tank, hook it up to the garbage can, which has the nutrient solution in it. Here's what I did. Uh, I mixed this in separate five gallon buckets and poured it in. So this is 15 total gallons of water, okay? You're shooting for about a 2.0 solution. Right now, I was jumping earlier between, yeah, 1.8 to 2.0. So I'm about where I want to be. I could add a little more nutrient solution if I wanted to, but I think that's going to be good right now. Um, my ratio was I put 42 grams of Master Blend in a five-gallon bucket of water, mixed it up, and poured it in. I did the same thing, 42 grams of calcium nitrate, mixed it in a five-gallon bucket of water, poured it in. 24 grams of epsom salt mixed it in a five gallon bucket and poured it in so that's the ratio if you're using 15 total gallons which is what i used obviously if you're only going to use a five gallon bucket for all three solutions you'd have to decrease your grams but that's that's what these are growing on right now okay i just based it on these are 22 gallon grow tanks so when i initially initially filled them i obviously divided out and did it for a 22 gallon tank but this is what the system looks like. And then I've got a shade cloth here that I'll go over the garbage can and the float valve tank just to kind of help keep the temperature down. Um, so you can see, I mean, these wicking pots were planted a week earlier um, and I do enjoy using those also. Um, I just wanted to try the system this year. This is obviously a lot less maintenance. All I've done so far is initially fill the growing tanks, put the plants in, let them grow till the level got to here. Today, that showed me that the water had dropped enough that I could drop my float valve tank, hook it up, 
add the solution and ought to be good for at least, I figure, two months on 15 gallons. Um, it may drain a little quicker than that as it starts to bear fruit, which all I have to do, come in and add whatever, five gallons at a time or another 15 gallons here, no big deal. So, uh, so this is a no maintenance system roughly. This, you know, I have to water about every five days. I have to fill those up and add a little fertilizer. Um, but this is the after, except it'll have the shade cloth. This is before when you're waiting on the plants to drain the grow tank down to a certain level. And when you reach that level, you can drop your tank and you're ready to go. So um, just wanted to show you guys that and uh, give you the ratios of the fertilizer I'm using. Um, just hoping it helps somebody. Uh, the most trouble I had early on was just getting my fertilizer ratio correct. But I try to stay about 2.0 once the plants get going, and that's roughly what I'm at. So hope this helps somebody.